those of you who aren't aware, Weem Audio are a new brand manufacturing wireless network streaming devices that have quickly captured the attention of serious players in the online audio community. The reviews of these products have been staggeringly favorable, with many stating that these small, affordable network streamers are actually better in some areas than competitors that are upwards of six times the price tag. It is this, the Weem Mini in particular, that has taken the community by storm. With its sub 100 pound price point and unbelievable functionality, it's a no-brainer for anyone looking at getting into streaming in a home audio or hi-fi setting. The Mini is a hockey puck sized, 192 kilohertz, 24-bit capable streamer that instantly turns any audio gear smart and supports services such as Apple AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, and Google Assistant, plus many, many more. You just can't argue with it for the price that it comes in at, but it does go further than that. The product itself is actually really, really good. For anyone that has used network streamers in the past, slow response times, buggy interfaces, and non-intuitive menu layouts are commonplace. And in the most extreme cases, audio playback is frequently interrupted or difficult to set up as a minimum. All of this equates to an unsatisfying listening experience that makes it feel as though we've taken a step back when compared to the days of CD. Even more frustrating is that streaming things like Spotify and Apple Music through your phone speaker or via Bluetooth headphones is an absolute breeze. So why is it so difficult to get a similar experience when trying to get audio playback through your hi-fi system? Weem Audio have said enough is enough, and here we are in 2023 with a lineup of network streamers that are affordable, easy to use, and offer great sound quality. We'll get into the Weem Home app and setup process in just a moment. First of all, I wanna do a quick unboxing of the product to show you what comes inside. Let's take a look. Opening the unit is simple. Once you do so, you can see that the hockey size puck device itself is the first thing you see. Put that down and discard some packaging reveals a little white box inside that contains all of the cables that come with the unit. There are quite a few, so I'll just go through them one by one for you. Probably most importantly is the power cable. It's a USB type C. Thing to know is that it doesn't actually come with the wall plug adapter. So you will need to have one of these separately, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. A lot of people have those just lying around the house. Uh, the other cables that it comes with, you have a stereo phono to 3.5 millimeter jack cable. This would be good to plug it into an analog hi-fi. You also have a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack cable. And finally, you have a digital optical cable. Now this would be my preferred method for connecting the device to any kind of hi-fi. I'll explain why a little bit later on in the video. Other than that, the only other thing that comes in the box is the user guide itself that I hope you get started. So overall, not too much comes in the box, but the most important thing is everything that's inside and under the hood. So why don't we take a look at the back panel on the unit and see how you connect it up. There are quite a few options for connecting these products into your home audio system. The preferred method, as most online reviewers will tell you, is to connect via the digital optical output that's on the back of the unit. This bypasses the unit's internal digital to analog converter, which effectively means that you're using it in a transport only mode. This is an important thing to point out. Aside from that, the Mini also features a 3.5 millimeter jack analog output if you want to use the onboard conversion. And what's even more interesting is the unit even includes a 3.5 millimeter jack input. Now, this allows you to connect external source devices, such as a CD player, to these streamers and utilize their built-in multi-room functionality to send the audio from that source device around the home, which is a really nice touch at this price point. Finally, there's also a USB Type-C connector on the back, which is for powering the unit only. When it comes to setup and controlling Weem Audio products, there is a dedicated Weem Home app, which, let's face it, is the thing that's got everybody hot under the collar. Setup process is easy. Simply open the app and it will find the device almost instantly, every time. Who would have thought that in 2023, that would be a unique selling point for a network streamer? But sadly, it is. And the Weem products are well ahead of the curve in this department, which is fantastic to see. Simply follow the on-screen instructions, share your Wi-Fi password with the device, and within seconds, you're connected and ready to go. The layout of the app, speedy responsiveness, and bug-free user experience is a testament to the engineers at Weem who clearly care a lot about their customers with regular over-the-air updates to ensure they maintain a level of consistency, which is something that we experienced when we first plugged the unit in after getting the demo unit from the brand today. Once you're connected, the choice is up to you how you want to listen to music. With support for Spotify and Tidal Connect, Apple AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, CoBuzz, Deezer, 
Amazon Alexa, and more, I would struggle to name a streaming service that the Weem app does not support. John Darko mentioned in his review of the Weem Mini that it isn't a suitable replacement for the Google Chromecast Audio because it doesn't support Chromecast Audio. And that is true in the case of the Mini. However, there is another model in the Weem range called the Weem Pro, which does have support for Chromecast built in, and in my opinion, is absolutely a suitable replacement for the Google Chromecast Audio. Not only does it support Chromecast Audio, it even supports voice control through the remote with a built-in microphone. But please note that this is an optional extra. Unfortunately, we don't have one of the remotes here to show you today, but if you would like to see a demonstration of one, then let us know in the comments section below. This means that almost half a decade later, there is once again an affordable, easy to use and good sounding solution for accessing multiple streaming services in a home audio system, which is exactly what the audio community needed. Some other notable differences between the Mini and the Pro models are as follows. The Pro has an Ethernet port allowing for a hardwired connection, something that will be of benefit to those of you using these units in an enthusiast grade system and wanting to stream high res audio, as well as a coaxial output, expanding the amount of systems the unit can integrate with. A recent post on the manufacturer's website has confirmed that the Weem Pro model is now also Rune certified and Rune ready, which means that it's able to offer playback of lossy and lossless file format. There is Bluetooth 5.1 over the 5.0 on the Mini, a digital optical input that allows you to connect your TV audio into the streamer and send it around the home wirelessly via a multi-room mesh network, and even a 12 volt trigger output. That's right, this thing can seamlessly integrate into a smart home solution. Amazing. The Pro model even upgrades the 3.5 millimeter jack in and outputs to full-size stereo RCA connections for both. It makes sense though for the Mini to have 3.5 millimeter jacks over stereo RCA when you consider the form factor of the unit. Thanks to the included Chromecast support on the Pro model, this also means that you can stream BBC sounds to your home audio system which is perhaps the most elusive of all streaming services and something that will be very important to a select few people out there, but enough to make them want to pick up one of these units for sure. So what about sound quality? Well, the units state they can support up to 192 kilohertz 24-bit audio, which given their size and price point is seriously impressive. The audio quality is something that can actually be configured in the app, allowing you to choose a sample rate and bit depth that works best for you. Although I would just recommend setting this to the maximum if your internet bandwidth allows you to do so. Overall sound quality is great, particularly when running the digital optical output and making use of an external DAC, such as the one inside your amplifier, like we have in our house system here today. But is there much of a sound difference between the two models? As it turns out, they both run the same internal digital to analog converter and share mostly the same internal circuitry, so there really isn't a lot to distinguish the performance of the two models from an audio point of view. The reason you would upgrade to the Pro model from the Mini is for the further flexibility offered in terms of connectivity and for the additional support for services such as Chromecast and Rune. As previously stated, the user experience in the Weem Home app is up there as one of the best on the market. A feature I really love about the app is the preset content area. Here, you can save your favorite albums, playlists, and podcasts on speed dial for quick recall. Even better is the album artwork is included in the GUI of this area of the app, which really helps to add a personal touch to the user experience. To set this up, start playing music from your preferred streaming service. In this case, we're just using Spotify. Once the audio is playing through your speakers, press the three dots icon on the right-hand side of the screen underneath the album artwork, and following that, press the preset button, which is the first to appear in the list. From there, select where you want it to feature in the preset list. There is a total of 12 spaces to choose from. And there you have it. Whatever your favorite album or podcast is, is right there in all of its glory for quick recall. Amazing. Overall, if you're looking for an affordable, easy to use and good sounding network streamer, I would recommend the Wii Mini for most people. The Pro is suited best for those of you who need the extra flexibility provided with the expanded inputs and outputs, and is definitely worth the upgrade if you fit into this category, as the connectivity options on the Mini are fairly limited. 
But the reason I would recommend the Mini for most people is just that the Mini hits a real sweet spot when it comes to price and performance. With these Weem Audio products, along with the new range from EverSolo, the future of network streaming is looking bright, and I'm extremely excited to see how products like these are going to impact this category for the better. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video.